Research takes hard work, sweat, and sometimes blood. In this breeding cage, hundreds of mosquitoes eagerly await their next meal. These mosquitoes belong to a species known as Aedes aegypti, which transmits diseases such as yellow fever, dengue, and chikungunya. Aedes aegypti is widely distributed throughout the tropics and is known as a daytime biter. It is unique in that it has evolved in tandem with humans for thousands of years, such that it prefers to lay its eggs in artificial containers like flower vases, barrels, buckets, and even discarded tires. In order to understand mosquito-borne disease transmission, it's helpful to understand the way a mosquito feeds. After piercing its host with its proboscis, it inoculates its host with its own saliva. This is because the mosquito's saliva contains a rich mix of proteins that prevent the coagulation of blood, help with digestion, and numb the host against any pain associated with feeding. It's during this process of inoculation that many pathogens find their way from the mosquito to the human host. After inoculation, the mosquito takes a blood meal, and it's during the blood meal stage that many pathogens find their way from the human host to the mosquito. Although their bite is generally considered painless, some individuals have been known to be excessively sensitive. You don't need to worry about our sensitive friend here, because the mosquitoes in this video don't have any diseases. They are part of a disease-free colony that has been kept alive in the lab for decades. The mosquitoes generally live off of a diluted honey solution, but they require the extra nutrients of blood to lay their eggs. It is thanks to the dedication of these walking blood sacs that we will have another generation of mosquitoes to study.